Light speed, speed, warp speed, we all speed toward the great unknown. Space exploration and space travel aren't limited to only astronauts. Some, if not all, of the most fascinating discoveries would not have been possible without the use of technology, from space probes to rovers to radio and light waves. Let's take a closer look at how the science behind interstellar exploration led to the knowledge and advancements we know today. Here are five discoveries we wouldn't have without space travel. Traversable wormholes. Einstein's theory of general relativity, proposed in 1915, expands on space and time, which he initially theorized in 1910. However, Einstein didn't consider gravity, and he discovered that massive objects warp spacetime through gravity. General relativity mentions how wormholes are curved regions of spacetime that connect two distant points like a tunnel. Even though scientists haven't directly observed these in nature and no proof of their existence is available to confirm the theory, scientists suggest that any wormhole would be extremely unstable. If anything were to pass through, the tunnel would collapse, and the matter would be cut off and disappear, trapped in whatever remote part of space the wormhole led to. However, some scientists have theorized that there is a way to keep wormholes open and prevent their collapse through the use of negative mass, or electrons, to counteract the electric charge and mass of the wormhole. Another theory is that by layering the wormhole entrance with shells of regular matter, the tunnel would be stabilized and allow the matter to pass through. The researchers who proposed these discoveries plan to test the theories experimentally. If proven true, our greatest sci-fi dreams of time travel would come true and challenge our understanding of the universe. Mars quakes. You've heard of earthquakes, now get ready for Mars quakes. NASA's InSight lander, launched in 2018, has measured three separate quakes on the red planet. On September 18, 2021, on its thousandth day on Mars, InSight measured a 4.2 tremor that lasted for an hour and a half. The average quake on Earth only lasts for about 30 seconds. These Mars quakes provide valuable insight into the planet's composition, how it was formed, and how these tremors travel through Mars' crust, mantle, and core. It was a close call for the lander to even detect these Mars quakes, though, due to the planet's elliptical orbit taking it farther from the Sun, causing InSight to use heaters to stay warm and not receive even solar energy in its panels. Thankfully scientists were able to turn off specific instruments and conserve power. As InSight approaches the Sun again, its energy levels can rise and continue to gather data on the red planet. Surviving the death of a star Scientists discovered 4,324 exoplanets in 2020. Since then, the total has risen to 4,903. But in September 2020, a giant Jupiter-sized planet, called WD1856b, was found orbiting a white dwarf star. Even though this star is a dwarf, it's actually 40% larger than Earth. Dwarf stars are the dense leftovers of a sun-like star that has emitted all of its energy, swollen, then ejected its outer layers, losing up to 80% of its mass and leaving only a dense core. Any nearby objects are typically engulfed by the star's mass and burnt up during this process which, in this system, would have been WD1856b, somehow, the planet seven times larger than the dwarf star got extremely close and managed to stay in one piece. WD1856b resides in the constellation of Draco and is 80 light years, or 25 parsecs, from Earth. Asteroid Mining while mining asteroids is a trope in science fiction novels, primarily for the galaxies that have used up a planet's resources and looked for other options for fuel, it may just become a reality. The OSIRIS-RX spacecraft launched in 2016 and traveled to the asteroid, Bennu, which is close to Earth. The purpose of this mission is to collect a sample of rocks and materials from the asteroid's surface to better understand its chemical makeup how life and planets form, and if asteroids hold material that Earthlings might find viable. 
OSIRIS-REx's planned return to Earth in 2023 will bring its handlers a host of extraterrestrial samples for study. Voyager's Discoveries In August 1977, Voyager 1 was launched to observe Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. In September 1977, Voyager 2 was launched with the same objective of exploring our solar system's outer limits and the impact of the Sun's reach. The Voyager spacecraft travel at about 38,000 miles per hour, or 17 kilometers per second. Since their launches over 40 years ago, the two have discovered ice-covered moons, deep space volcanoes, and evidence of water on other planets. Jupiter's moon, Io, has a volcano with 10 times more activity than the volcanic activity on Earth. Jupiter's other moon, Europa, has a cracked surface, leading scientists to believe there was liquid water below the surface. Voyager 2 is currently 12 billion miles from Earth and Voyager 1 is currently 14 billion miles from Earth. They are the first flyby crafts to travel interstellar space. It takes two days for mission control to send and receive incoming communications. This link offers an in-depth look at Voyager 2, while this one provides an in-depth look at Voyager 1 and a real-time location of their positions.